Welcome back to the Long Dark. Now we've just killed our first wolf. Thankfully, we've got our first skin. There it is, his dead little body is sticking out there. Um, and the priority at the moment is to actually get this sucker home. Um, we're also looking for a maple sap thing, and I explore up there and couldn't find one. Um, but it's getting pretty jolly cold. So I'm hesitant to explore much more up that way. So I'm going to run back up to the train tracks and. Uh, See if we can find some other way to look. Hopefully this is the right way. I was coming, jumping back in after you haven't played it for a week. Tend to get a bit turned around. Which is pretty deadly out here. Along with absolutely everything else. So I haven't been picking up many sticks lately and they're good to pick up because we need tinder plugs if we're going to get anywhere with a fire. We need ourselves some tinder. Get you out just in case. I don't see any wolves at the moment, but you never know. The tricksy buggers. And I'm still keeping an eye out for the maple sapling. I think they're further afield. But I'm just a little worried about this snow here. If it turns into a fully fledged snowstorm, they're going to freeze within seconds. And that's not going to be fun. Uh, temperature's hovering around minus eight. Chilly, but not the chilliest it's been. Hmm. Either way, I would be happier exploring a little closer to home. <laughs> uh, we've got four hours left. That should mean it was a decent kind of temperature, but it's dropped dramatically thanks to this storm. Uh, either way, I'm going to drop off my. Uh, Wolf skin in the guts back in my house. Get them out of my pack. Just double check how much we got the right way. I believe so, yep. There's the sweet Canadian flag guiding me home. <laughs> okay. I think we can afford to run the last bit. He does walk rather slowly. Uh, then I guess we are trudging through heavy snow. Does tend to slow you down. It's <laughs> slow snow. Yes, yeah, so we just fall up there, and that was kind of a pointless adventure. I really, I know, as I keep saying, it's like every fucking episode, but I really want to find some coffee. So it keeps you, keeps you warm and awake and everything. It's the best stuff. Okay, so you're twenty percent cured if you've been there for what a day. I'm used for crafting a craft, air drying indoors for seven days. Plonk you down, that's one. We need three of them, I think. Cut. Cut. Okay. So we're in the warm now. Is there something we can do to kill? Maybe an hour or so? Hopefully it will get better. Uh, any of my clothes need a good solid repair? Nothing in the uh, orange yet, but I might give these jeans another go. Harvesting? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh boy. That could have. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I didn't have any cloth, that's why. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I don't know what I was doing then. I wasn't thinking. Let's take an hour and 45 minutes. Um, also, gonna make me tired. I might just do it anyway, actually. Now I got loads of shit. Cool. Plonk it in there. <laughs> I don't believe I almost tore my jeans up quickly. <laughs> Didn't read what I was <laughs> pressing, I was just pressing the only one that wasn't <laughs> red. Oh, that would have been an embarrassing mistake walking around with just like thermal underwear on. <laughs> but we've got lots of cloth now, so we can repair whatever we want. All of you in there. And we got some tinder off that as well, so. A little thirsty. They've got two hours left, so I'm going to look around outside. Have you started curing yet? Best by 1%. Let's see how the storms are going. Is it blowing itself out? It has. It's warmed up considerably. But I also can barely see. It's only got two hours left. Which isn't very good for 
Eating maple saplings. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not really much I can do when it's dark. Just gonna wander around being prey for things that can see a little better in the dark than I can. So I'm actually gonna go back and repair those jeans. <laughs> Make a few tinder plugs. Cook some like food. Night's coming. Night's coming. And then read, I guess. <laughs> Kill some time. We've still got to cure that maple sapling when we do actually get it. So it'll still be a little while before I can actually do anything with it. Oh, crafting. Why do you have to be so realistic and, well, semi-realistic, I guess? Do you really just throw your stuff you want to cure on the ground? I'd put them on a rack, but... What do I know? Right, we can actually repair now, not tear them apart. <laughs> okay. Not that it really gives us much, like, warmth <laughs> from our jeans, but especially than going around naked. Alright. Um, I guess we should probably eat something. Draw searched. There we go, that's my food drawer. Oh, uh, dinged up pork and beans, new tomato soup, pinnacle peaches, dog food. Uh, <laughs> so what do you fancy for your dinner, lad? Good pork and beans. And we'll get a fire log out of here. And some reclaimed wood. Should be long enough. Tin to plug, fire log, wood matches. Reclaimed wood, stick. Cool. Now we watch once again as the fire fails. We lose that tinder plug. That one I got out of the chair. Well, I guess. That's probably best not to think about it. I guess it's all like little splinters and bits of the chair when you were hacking it with the axe. Come on. You should be a pro at this by now. And nicely done. On goes the fire dog. A bit of reclaimed wood. Right, we also need water. I wonder if it's worth this while we've got a long fire, just melting tons of it and storing a bunch in uh, one of the cupboards and just taking a litre or something. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Okay, that was actually way too much. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. I think I'll put some more fuel on. <laughs> I'll boil later. And then cook up. Just eat something. Uh, he's, uh, he's a bit tired. Bless him. So we're gonna go straight to bed. Do you eat and drink something? Drink a litre of water. And some warm pork and beans. There we go. A big baby. Now you can go to bed. Uh, go to bed there. Nine hours. Should heal us up as well. Then we'll figure out what to do in the daylight. One hour of darkness there. There we go. It's daylight. Parched again. <sighs> I'm going to take a can of soda with me. Actually. Good old Summit Soda. And then there's a chocolate bar in there. Another bar. Snack on that this morning. Give us some calories so we can kill a couple of hours reading this book about fishing. It's a very interesting book. Here we go, The Frozen Angler. Have a read of that. Ooh, what's that? You want more? Mmm, riveting reading. There we go, that'll do. I could okay, eat so anything we... right now. Yes, 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 yes. So we've got 11 hours. Let's go and see what the temperature is outside. How are you guys doing? Temps and cured. 
34% cured. Okay. What's it looking like? Oh, oh, oh no. Minus 25 degrees, perhaps not. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I hope you like reading, mate. There's an anger again. Give another hour of you. Getting weak. I'm weak. Yes, you are. You're weak. Uh, let's try some of this. A few more calories back. So you continue reading. Get more time. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> About 10 hours left. Can you, can you bring it home? Oh. Hey. You're now an expert on fishing. Ice fishing too. Novice. Novice. Alright. I think it's time to go put that ice fishing to some use. Let's do that. I'm going to need to get some reclaimed wood out of here. Let's get a reclaimed wood. Can I actually pick it up. Yes. So we can have a, a good old fish for a couple of fish. Uh, store them in the drawer. And then that should hopefully serve as food for the next couple of days. I know it's cold, but once we get to the hut, the wood will become revealed. So we're just going to plonk it in the old uh, furnace, keep a little fire going for about an hour as we fish. Just be careful because this is a wolf's prowling spot. They love it. They love a bit of ice fishing, the wolves do. Because they hold the line in their mouths. Crafty buggers. I think this playthrough's gonna. If you ever watch my Layers of Fear playthrough, the wolves are gonna take the place of the rats and the, and the wolves in my hair, wolves in the bath, everywhere. Bloody wolves. And maybe the occasional bear. Just to spice things up a little bit. Well, it seems fairly all free at the moment. I'm not going to bother running all the way over to that premium fishing hut. I'm just going to use the one here. God knows what happened to its previous inhabitant. Probably best not to think about. Hello. Oh, oh there's the ice hole. I was like, where's the ice hole? There it is. I'll have to light you up. We also got sticks. So. You only need it there for about an hour and a half, so. Now we watch the fire start again. I'm a scintillating part of the long dark, staring into a furnace, praying, because all your life depends on this silly stove actually bursting into flames. Come on. Come on. That's a good stove. Yes. Yes. Jolly good work. That's done. That's done indeed. Nice fishing hole, because we actually got to break apart this hole. It's going to take a little while. Then we'll fish for a couple of hours and scoot out to see what we can find. Nice fishing hole cleared. How's the fish? Uh, let's fish for now. The lake white fish. Common freshwater fish, small but plentiful. That's not great. We've only got 20 minutes left, so we can't fish for another hour. Well, that was imperfect, but we can boil up some of this water. Oh, well, maybe we can't, but... <laughs> oh, it takes a few minutes. There you go, and then we'll have six hours to explore. Okay, I mean... How many carries in this thing? 559, actually, that's not too bad. It's actually probably best to keep it with me, because it'll be colder with me than it will be exploring anywhere else. So, yeah. Uh, right, where best to look for maple saplings? Kind of tempted to run back to where I was poking around, but I couldn't see anything immediately there. I'm going to just uh, wander down the train tracks, I think. See if I can find anything there. I want to see if I can get into that 
lookout tower. Firewatch cabin or whatever. Because <laughs> uh, there's usually some gear up there. But it's going to be jolly cold up there because it's on the side of a mountain. So... Yeah. Let's hope that wolf on the train tracks is bugging off. Either that or he's uh, ready for a bullet. <laughs> or a hunting knife, I guess, if he gets too close. Or a hatchet. It decides which weapon is best, so... All I have to do is mash A and try not to piss myself. Just like real life. We had a good look around over that way. I couldn't find anything where I didn't go too far. Um, I really need some like better clothing so I can explore out a bit earlier. Once you get military like grey clothing, you just go out night and day and it's fine. Uh, this out. So I've seen wolves prowl around here before. I see nothing moving. So I think that is a good sign. Hmm. I'm going to have a quick explore over here. Just pick my head over. Make sure there's nothing I've missed over here. Are you a cedar or a fir? I apologise if that's a rude question. <laughs> is it possible to be racist to twigs? Find out here. There's lots of deer. So this is one of their hideouts. I guess when I come back with my bow, this is a good spot to hit straight off the bat. Uh, there's poor deer. Oh dear. Right. Oh, I, w I am going to hit the dam for too long, I think. I think it's going to come to a head. Because there's lots of good gear in there. It could really help me. Um, when and what shape I'm in is uh, questionable. But I will hit it eventually. I have no choice. If I want to get to the next area, I have to go through there. Unless you want to go to the full-on muskeg. I probably will be checking out. Because once again, didn't look up what muskeg was. I'm not even going to at this point. I'm just going to try and guess somewhere. Can I get up here? Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, 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 almost. I don't even think I can. <coughs> ah, what the? F well, I didn't lose any health. Just sort of weird, weird. <laughs> noise. Oh, 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 I know you're around here somewhere. Wolves don't just disappear. This is where I got my rifle. And that blessed man inside. Blessed uh, the ex man. I didn't get a chance to explore what I wanted to explore last time. There was a wolfie in the way. It was hopefully a bug wolf. If he hasn't, we'll just try and skirt around him. You ruined my plans once, you won't ruin them again. Oh, doesn't seem to be here. But I'm gonna hang left just in case. He prowled over from the right last time. Probably gotta run smack bang into him now. Five hours, plenty of time. I'll save two, I think, to jog back. That's when it starts getting cold. There he is. He was around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you stay over there. All this to avoid a single wolf. <laughs> Still, we've got a new area that might house saplings. And lots of wood. There's, looks like there's trailers down there. Okay, doggy, you just stay there. 
It doesn't look like the best place to descend down there, does it? <laughs> it's like a, if I drop down there, there might not be. Right back up. No, it's like we are going to have to go the long way. <laughs> What's that, Wolfie? There he is, he's coming back. Oh boy. This is, might hurt. Oh, oh boy. Ugh. This is awkward. Yeah, okay. Didn't sprain your ankle. All is well. Dead deer there. So, if and when I do get rid of that wolf. There's some deer meat for the picking. Train loading area. Okay. Let's see what's around here. Maybe these are huts of the guys who uh, walked on the railway. Don't see any saplings about, but. What is that up there? I spy a shrubbery of a sapling. So shut my mouth, this looks like might be what we need. Probably, there's two different types, there's maple and birch. It's probably going to be birch, isn't it? Just a fuck with me. <laughs> of course getting arrows is a whole other kettle of fish. We need to find a forge. I don't know if there even is one on this map. Um I think we have to travel to somewhere else to actually get arrows. It is... Yes! It's a maple! Bloody glorious. Okay. So there's our little group of cabins that we can have a poke around. <laughs> oh, we just need to head back up and around there. Yeah. Let's get back. I mean, worst comes to the worst, we could probably end up spending the night in one of these trailers, but always, obviously that's uh, not ideal. I think none of our food was, was here. <laughs> but with any luck, you might find some clothes. There's a, there's a couple of ports loose, so uh, set for uh, the other end. Logging camp. Yeah, fairly wolf free. Good find. And I guess I'll leave this episode in here. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.